Hi students, welcome back. So in the previous video, I explained about the segmentation. Now let us see uh, the segmentation architecture and with an example. So then you will understand what exactly the segmentation will perform in the concept of logical address and the physical address. So I, I explained that this segmentation is a, always uh, uh, the segment will store in the logical unit. So this logical address contains two tuples two tuples so that is the segment number or the name and the offset so actually this uh, in this uh, segment architecture you are having the segment table it maps two dimensions so that is a physical address uh, two dimensions of the let me write that point segment table maps two dimensional physical address so the segment table maps two dimensional physical address so each table in has uh, each table entry has one is base and another is limit so the segment table consisting of uh, two address space so that is one is a base and another is the limit so the base is nothing but it contains a starting physical address base contains so just remember these terms the base the limit which are the terms that are present in the segment table base holds the uh, starting address contains the starting physical address so where the segment resides in memory so in this starting physical address uh, segment resides in that memory and the limit consisting of specifies the length of the segment specifies the length of segment so just remember this the, the segment table so this is a segment table this segment table consisting of base and limit so this base holds the starting physical address so in which uh, that segment is resides and the limit mentions the length length of the segment length of segment and address address of segment that is the starting address of the segment so this completely you call it as a segment table okay so now let us see the segment table base register so here you are having some to, uh, some terms in the architecture that is the segment table base register that is stbr so what stbr means segment table base register so it points to the it points to the segment table's location location in memory so exactly it holds the uh, the in the memory you have to store the data so this segment table base register so whatever i said the base limit so this is the base and this is the limit so this base register segment table base register points to the segment table location in memory and whereas segment table length register means the limit i'm talking about the limit length register so that is stlr stlr means segment table length register so it indicates the number of indicates number of segments used by program indicates number of means the length of the segments indicates the number of segment used by program sig used by program so you have to remember that the segment number that is the name the segment number s is legal whenever it is legal if the segment is less than segment table length register so whatever the segment that you are storing in the table that segment should be less than the uh, total length of the segment table length register okay now let us see the uh, example of the segment table segmentation 
let me explain the example example of segmentation so let us take uh, this is the user space and here you are having the segment table okay and here you are having the physical memory so the physical memory this day and here you are having this uh, segment table that is the limit and base so limit holds the length of the segment and base is the starting address of that physical uh, segment and you are having the segments so let us take different segments so let us take the subroutine stack square root is one of the function like uh, and let us take the symbol table and main program so let us say this is a segment 0 segment 1 segment 2 segment 3 and segment 4 so this is completely the user space that you call it as a logical address space so the logical address space consisting of all this uh, segment name plus the offset so these are the segments these segments will store in the segment table segment table so the limit is let us take suppose the length of that one segment that is a segment zero the segment zero length is thousand and the base address starting address is 1400 okay and the next the length of the uh, segment square root is let us take it is 400 and the base address the starting physical address is the 6300 and the segment two the segment two limit is 400 and the starting address is 4300 and segment 3 the stack length of the stack segment is 1100 and the physical base address is 3200 and segment 4 the symbol table limit is let us take it is 1000 and the base address is 4700 okay so each segment is having uh, that address starting address of that means to where it has to store in the main program means uh, physical memory and the size of that segment so this complete user program is divided into set of segments the first whatever the program that i have written that will be divided into set of the segments that will be stored in logical address space so each segment is having some uh, length means the size of that segment and the starting address of that segment now let us come into the physical memory how it is stored in the physical memory so first segment 0 so the segment 0 so the base address the starting address of that uh, segment 0 is 1400 so this is the segment 0 then what is the size of that segment the length of that segment is 1000 so 14000 plus 1000 2400 so the segment 0 stored in this location now coming to the uh, next uh, Next size is 3200 that is a segment 3. So let us take the segment 3. The starting address is 3200 and the limit the length of that is 1100. So just add 1100 to this so it becomes 4300. So the next address base address is 4300. So here the segment 2 has to be stored and the size of that segment is 400. Just for add 400 to this 4300. So then it becomes 4700. So next next look uh, minimum is 4700. So already it is there. So just add segment 4. What is the size of this segment 4? That is the 1000. So just add 1000 to this. It becomes 5000. So the starting address is 4700 and ending of that segment is 5700. So next size is 6300. So write somewhere here 6300. And this is a segment 1. So the limit is 
400 so just add 400 to this 6700 so this is how uh, each segment will be stored in the physical memory so adding the limit and the base so which is present in the segment table so then it's stored in the physical memory so let me explain the segmentation hardware so that i'll explain the next video also with a simple example so taking some segmentation hardware thank you